Hi, I'm Brandon Burrill, owner and operator of Quick Water Heater. We're here today to show you how to do a deep professional water heater flush. So I wanna tell you about the benefits of this. Number one, it increases the efficiency of your water heater. It's gonna make the water heater last longer and it's gonna make sure that the heat actually gets from the, the flame into the water as efficiently as possible. At the end of the video, I'm gonna show you a bonus how you can save three to $10,000 on your water heating expenses. So let's get started. The first way is you just go down to the water heater valve, you hook up your hose, you open the valve and you flush your water heater. The second way is called the deep flush and the deep flush requires you to actually remove the small garden hose valve and replace it with a bigger professional valve. Okay, so one really important thing that you do before we start draining the water heater, you wanna make sure that you find the dial on your water heater and put it to vacation or pilot. So first step in the flush is just open the valve. What we're doing is we're literally forcing the water out. What I wanna do is turn the water off to the water heater so that there's no incoming pressure. Secondly, in order to get the water heater to drain, I need to let the air into it. The theory is similar to that of, like if you hold your finger over a straw, the straw won't actually drain until you remove your finger. So as soon as you place your finger on the straw, it stays, as soon as you remove it, it shoots out. Same thing with the water heater. We need to basically remove our finger from the straw and allow the water to drain naturally out of the tank. So what I'm gonna do is go upstairs and I'm gonna open my shower and turn it all the way to hot. That way the air can flow in through the shower, come down the hot water pipe, and the water can leave the water heater. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So what you wanna do is drain the water heater down, which is happening right now. As soon as we get the water heater empty, we're gonna take this old garden valve off and we're gonna put the full port valve on. Now what this does is lets all the chunks get through. Nothing's gonna be able to get stuck in the water heater. So you can get these parts at Home Depot. It's probably the easiest place to get them. You can get them in a plumbing supply store. If you don't feel like going anywhere, you might actually be able to get them from somewhere online. So now that we've got the whole water heater drained down, it's completely empty, you can take the garden hose off. You wanna use two wrenches, one to hold the, the fitting in place and one to actually remove the valves. Full port valve in. All right, so I can tell that we're pretty much there. I don't wanna do it too tight and get it stuck permanently. Re replace the small hole with the bigger one. What we're gonna do is, we've still got all the sediment mostly trapped in the bottom of the water heater. So what I wanna do is pump the valve up top. So we're gonna go up to the top of the water heater Find this valve, and you're gonna open it. Open this valve at the bottom. So we're gonna repeat this process a few times. What I'm doing is shooting water into the bottom, stirring it all up, and then allowing it to be released through this main valve here. So now that we've got the water heater completely flushed, we've got all our sediment out, the last thing you need to do is put a cap on here. In theory, this should be brass, um, just so that you don't have different metals. When you have two different metals, it'll cause electrolysis and corrosion. Okay, so here is the result of our different flushes. So flushing through the small valve that comes with your water heater, it won't exactly look just like this, but it's the same principle. It has a tiny little opening inside of here. Uh, resulted us about I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch. And if you look down in there, the, the chunks are really small. It's just the fine sand that made it out. Um, actually, while we were doing this, we ended up clogging the valve because it's just too small. Once we put on the large valve, the full port ball valve, you know, we got I don't know, four or five inches with some interesting little crustacean rocks up here. These are pretty cool. So um, this is all the sand and sediment that's gonna prevent the heat from actually getting into the water. So flushing your water heater out super important to make sure that you maintain the life of the water heater as well as the efficiency of it too. Okay, so just to recap what we've done, uh, you'll always wanna make sure that after you've got your full port valve, ball valve on, that you always clear the valve. When you first decide to do your flush, connect your hose, open the valve, let it run for a minute. What that's doing is getting all the large chunks power flushed out of the valve so that it can run clear. Um, the next step is gonna be to shut off your ball valve up top and just wait for the water heater to drain. You're going to have to open a hot water faucet in your house or potentially pop your TP valve. I wouldn't recommend this one, it can cause more problems. 
open a hot water faucet and then you'll notice that the water will start flowing out. Once you've got it completely empty, you're gonna go back and pump the valve a few times. So I'd suggest doing it three times. What that does is it's gonna stir the water and then let it fill up and flush it for five minutes and that's gonna pretty much stir everything up and make sure that it gets out of the valve. So that's how we do a deep flush. Okay, so now that we've completed the flush, um, I promised you that I was gonna share a bonus with you on how to save three to $10,000 with your water heating systems. Um, first thing we've done is, is do the flush. That's super important. That's something you wanna do once a year. That's probably only about 10 to 15% of what's actually gonna save your water heater though. The, the magic potion is in a different step. The step only takes about 10 minutes to do. It'll make your water heater last anywhere from 20 to 50 years. The parts are cheap, it's not hard to do. If you wanna learn how to do this in a simple 10 minute process, click the link. It's probably gonna either be below, it could be to the side or possibly above. Click the link and I'll show you exactly how to make your water heater last forever and save you thousands of dollars along the process. I want to show you the part about the how do you ex the third <laughs> okay this thing's broken well we were going to but this is broken 